Hi everybody, my name is Travis and I recently became interested in modifying microphones but I found very few YouTube videos on the subject. So as I go through my first project, I'm going to go ahead and record a YouTube video and hopefully it will be useful to you if you're considering modifying a microphone. So the microphone I'll be working with is a CAD GXL2200. CAD is a company based out of Ohio but this is a relatively run-of-the-mill Chinese manufactured large diaphragm condenser. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to record a song with this microphone completely unmodified. Next, I'm going to upgrade the capsule containing the diaphragm, and I'll record another sample. And then lastly, I'm going to replace the entire circuit with a circuit built from a kit from microphoneparts.com. So this will be entirely replaced. At that point, it's really, for all intents and purposes, a completely different microphone. And in theory, it should be a microphone that competes in quality with high-end boutique offerings. So I'm going to get started. <laughs> Okay, so I have my CAD microphone here. I've painted the body red so that I don't get it confused with an unmodified version. I've recorded an abridged version of a song, just completely um, stock. The mic's not been modified internally at all yet. What I'm about to do is I'm gonna replace the capsule with this RK47 capsule from microphoneparts.com, and then I'm gonna re-record the exact same song. All right, I've recorded the same tune with the new capsule. So now we're on to the last bit. I'm going to replace the circuit from the microphone with the T84 kit from microphoneparts.com and then do the whole rigmarole one last time. Now that I have everything recorded, I'm going to play all four tracks cycling through uh, each of the three versions of the microphone. These tracks will be completely raw and unedited, no effects or anything like that. After I'm done with that, there'll be a mix at the end for each version of the microphone, and these mixes will actually have a limited amount of compression, reverb, and the kinds of effects you would expect. They'll all try to keep EQ to a minimum. Well, all right, okay, you win, I'm in love with you. Well, all right, okay, you win, baby, what can I do? I'll do anything you say, it's just got to be that way. Well, all right, okay, you win, I'm in love with you. <laughs> Well, all right, okay, you win, I'm in love with you. Well, all right, okay, you win, baby, what can I do? I'll do anything you say, it's just got to be that way. Well, all right, okay, you win, I'm in love with you. Well, all right, okay. What can I do? Anything you say I'll do As long as it's me and you All that I am asking All that I want from you Is just love me like I love you and it won't be 
be hard to do with a rat. Okay, you win. So that's it. Uh, one thing I failed to mention earlier, the circuit kit for this microphone actually brings two new tricks. Uh, there's little micro switches here, and one of them will turn on a 10 dB pad. The other one will flip between cardioid and omni, uh, which is what makes this such a better mic for upright bass uh, than the unmodified microphone. Um, omnidirectional mics up close to an upright have a much more natural sound than cardioid. Um, so, you know, I've left the tracks for you. You can judge for yourself. When I listen back, uh, there's not a single place where I prefer the stock mic to the mic with the upgraded capsule. I think that the original capsule, uh, especially in the acoustic guitar, the strummed acoustic guitar, sounds really squeaky um, and way overly bright. So I uniformly liked, thought the capsule improved everything. Um, I might consider the original circuit or a mic with a similar circuit for the acoustic guitar uh, when strumming if I wanted that kind of jangly bright sound because the fully modified mic is fairly mid-range forward and I think the acoustic guitar in some songs needs that kind of bright sparkly tone. Um, as far as the difficulty of executing this kit, if you can solder you can build this kit. Um, Though if you're going to modify the capsule and the circuit board, you might consider just buying their kit that contains the body um, and selling the mic on eBay that you were planning to modify. Um, so that's it. And uh, feel free to ask questions in the comments. I'll also post the tracks out on SoundCloud so that you can listen to them.